And you know she could show has shown up so Daru gotta move on out the way. But what you know what confuses me? It seems like if you're a ninja, the only way you got some kind of strength or anything, the only way you can fight, is if either you're a Kage or you're a, a, a teenager. And it seems like anybody inside the village, any other ninja outside of being a teenager or being a Kage or something like that, can't even fight. You see them getting beat up by Zetsu. Zetsu's the weakest villain they ever faced. There's a couple of them getting beat up by Zetsu, but that seems like filler because we don't really see anybody really getting beat by Zetsu's. I mean, look at the, um, like any other fighter, any kind of skilled fighter, you see them wiping out 100 Zetsu's at a time. But anyway, uh, this is your boy, me, and welcome to the channel where anime and manga means more. And this time we're reviewing Naruto Shippuden episode 270. If I'm wrong, then look at the title. But anyway, this episode was kind of, it's going to be quick because not a lot of stuff happened. But anyway, Daru had just finished beating Genkaku. Now, Genkaku, he goes chakra mode, or, or what's it, six tails, I think he had. And he goes in that form, and he just says, I'm going to start wrecking stuff. But what I don't understand is, why didn't they do that in the first place? I mean, they got the power anyway. They have, like, infinite uh, uh, chakra. They could have done it. It wouldn't, wouldn't be no big thing. And a lot of times I see in this war, it seemed like the people control their mouths. That's what we're, we're led to believe that the people control their mouths. But at the same time, if you look at the villains, they look like they're controlling everything they do. I don't know how. It looked that way. We know they're not, but it looks like it. They didn't really show him going against their will. It seemed like everything they... Like he got mad because his brother, you know, got absorbed, so he went chop. But should he be able to do that? Or is it like you could do anything you want as long as you're doing something, as long as you're doing the commands of uh, of the um, guy, of uh, Kabuto. Let's say he says kill somebody. You can, do, you can kill him any kind of way you want, but you just can't do anything other than that. that that's probably the case because it doesn't seem like it could be anything else. But anyway, he goes on the rampage. And they come at him full storm. Now, they figure out that that rope trick that they were doing before ain't going to work. Because he got the rope on him and, and it's like under all that chakra meat. So, they can't really get to him. So, they got to come up with another way. And, and fortunately, they just so happen to have a pot. And the pot is like a combination of all the stuff. Which kind of doesn't make sense because, I mean... Why would you need the other things? You know, you need three, or you can just use one. So it doesn't really make that much sense, but let's go with it. I guess he likes using weapons, and he says, I'm going to use them for two different purposes, and I need more. I need a rope, I need a sword, so I'm just going to have them anyway, even though they do the same thing. But anyway, um, they say, well, they, they, they reveal in the, the episode that other people have tried to eat chakra meat. Like one guy had tried to eat the eight, you know, the ox chakra meat, and he got killed. Now, what they said is that the Kenkaku, Genkaku, and Kenkaku, they must be related to the sages of the six paths. There we go again. So anybody that's related to him automatically get these power boosters and stuff like that. And and it looks like Naruto's a direct descendant. I mean, direct descendant. Looks like he's direct. So he probably gonna be able to do anything he wants. So that's why they can, you know, maintain those forms and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, they know they can't use the uh, traditional way of, you know, sealing them. So they go ahead and get the pot. Then they said, well, Kenkaku knows about this pot. So how are we gonna trick him and get him into doing what, you know, sealing him? Because in order for him they, them to seal him, they have to call out to him and he has to answer them. But he knows that. So how are they gonna do it? Then Shikaku, he says, you know, she could show. Game over. And uh, Rakage, he said, man, anything you say, I know I know, I can go along with. This guy's he's nice. So he has his assistant teleport the pot to Daru. They hold Kenkaku down. Basically, they stall him for time. Uh, you know, she could show, show up. And their teamwork is like immaculate. That's one thing I like about them. Their teamwork is immaculate. Even better than, you know, 
anybody in the, the series. Pretty much any any team in the series, they have better teamwork than teamwork wise. Doesn't mean they're the strongest, but teamwork wise, they're on point. Everything they do complements the other. So anyway, they go ahead. Uh, we should call them. Um, what's my boy name? Choji. I don't know how to forget him. Choji. He goes ahead, and does the little meat tank thing, whatever. You know, the human boulder knocks. You know, just basically catches a uh, Ken Kaku off guard. What you call him? Uh, Shikamaru goes ahead for the shadow, shadow, shadow imitation, shadow, shadow imitation, right? Goes ahead for that, and he can only hold him for a second. But that was long enough for Eno to set up to take over his mind, and she forced him to do what was necessary to seal him. So once he got sealed, that was pretty much it for the uh, Kenkaku fight. He got sealed. Now, if I was, you know, what I would have did was I would have been, you know, acting like I was still knocked out. I'd be like, oh, you know, got absorbed into the pot. You didn't make it on time. Then jump up. Hey, how you doing, guys? That's what I would have did. It would have been a perfect opportunity. But anyway, um, we see that they said, where's the uh, the fan? You know, that banana fan or whatever. Eno, not Eno, Tintin finds it. So that's a good thing because she's supposed to be a weapon specialist. So she's finally get to use one of the most powerful weapons in the series. So that's going to be good, you know, because Tintin doesn't really get any time to shine. That's one thing I like about this. Daru seems like he didn't get as much in limelight as I wanted him to, but, he, you know, he did He did his thing. Um, he's pretty much out now because we got to see what you call him. Um, Eno Shigacho, they're going up against their old teacher, Asuma, right? Now, uh... After they seal Kinkaku and Ten Ten find the banana fan and whatnot, they go ahead and they find out that uh, what's the dude? What's my boy name? Kak Kakazu, is that how you pronounce it? Kakazu, yeah, I think that's it. Kakazu is there and he's got all five of his uh, chakra masks, whatever, full and filled up and ready to go. And he's playing with these guys. He said, "Which one of these guys is it?" Because basically, what he's saying is, it could be one of your relatives that I killed already. And so I was like, okay, okay, this guy's playing with him. And also, he reveals that Dan and Asuma, they're all there. And, they, and now, you know, she control, they got to fight against the old master. So you already know what's going to happen with that. It's going to be, you know, because they fight against one of their old teachers and, and uh, role models and everything. So you know they're going to be hesitant. They're going you, you got, so we got to wait for that to see what they, you know, see what happens in that fight. Because you already know they're going to be hesitant. To see, you know, to, to face their own master. But anyway, overall, I get this episode. It was good because we didn't really have to think too much. It was, you know, with enough action. We can be moving on in the story. It's some of the better fights of this uh, war. So, I think, you know, overall, it was good. I, I enjoyed it. But anyway, go ahead and leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Break the video and all that other good jazz. And I'm out. Peace.